What's up y'all, it's Phil, and it's time for another update. So this week I've got another small little project that I think I can knock out pretty quick. So ideally, I want to get in there and try and get this taken care of in the next couple of days so that I can move on to another very large project that I've got. I already talked to one of the clients and unfortunately what I've got going on right now is that like three different jobs are all kind of falling on the exact same week. Um, and so I asked this client if I could bump them up. I asked the other client if I could bump them back and kind of keep these two smaller projects before I do the big project which I really do want to be able to focus primarily on. So this project is going to be pretty cool and pretty basic at the same time. Um, it is <clears throat> very simply uh, adjustable shelves. Um, I think I'm doing some drawers underneath, I'll have to find out, and then I'm doing uh, doors underneath. So that's it. You know, a, a simple cabinet, um, we're talking like 12 inches deep, not very wide, maybe like 40 or 50 inches wide, something like that. So. We'll see. Fixed shelving, that should be neat, and then I'm doing a like doggy gate uh, to help prevent the dog from going upstairs, but I'm going to try to match the railings on the doggy gate to the actual railings on the banister that's there. So, that'll be a pretty neat project. Hopefully I can get it done pretty quick.
snowstorms tonight, just nice clear weather, and a nice, awesome full moon. So, I'm pretty stoked to be working tonight. I got the motor mount for my table saw. So, I got that installed about an hour ago. It just arrived. I got it installed, and I'm ready to go. So, since I didn't get much work done the past two days, I'm going to go ahead and start on these doors for my current built-in so I can get that one finished up. And then I've got, like, three more built-ins that are all running up against each other. So, that'll be interesting. But to go ahead and get this one finished up, I'm going to just do these doors and finish up that doggy door, and that is pretty much it. I also just realized right now that I don't have any polyurethane. That sucks. Just like that, y'all, I am done. These projects turned out really great, um, especially for as quick as I was able to do them. Quickly? Quick? I don't know. They didn't take very long as far as actually building the projects and installing everything and the work that I did here at the shop. Um, all of it went pretty quick. Time-wise, it took about two weeks total, um, which is weird. It normally doesn't take that long to do this, you know, kind of smaller project, but 
Um, I got everything built in and ready to go, got the cabinets and stuff in, in the middle of the week, had my painter come out and take care of it on Monday, and then throughout the week I was working on stuff here, uh, got everything ready to go, and then come the end of last week I just wasn't able to make it back out there, so it kind of just sat unfinished. So luckily I was able to get out there today, so technically I'm only in this thing about three or four days total uh, as far as work time goes. A um, couple hours here at the shop, no big deal. So it did actually go pretty quick. It just was layered on top of ending in one project, starting another project, going back and fixing some other stuff. So it happened to take two weeks, but that's what I always tell people. Because I do work for myself, except for my supervisor Yoshi, who's completely useless. So with that, y'all, I'm going to get out of here and let you guys check out these beauty shots so you can see the finished product. I hope that you guys are learning some stuff or that you see some stuff that might inspire you to do something neat. If you do do one of my projects or one of my DIYs or you just want to show off, hit me up on Instagram at PMK Woodworking. All my socials, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all at PMK Woodworking, so definitely find me on there. Shoot me a message if you have a question or comment below, um, and I will respond as best as I can. You'll also get some really good responses from people in the community and just keep this whole thing rolling. Also, if you like this channel and you want to help support, absolutely please check out my brand new storefront on uh, uh, Amazon. That sounded ridiculous. Check out my storefront on Amazon. It is a place where you can go where I've compiled a lot of the things that I use, a lot of things that I recommend, and a lot of the things that I think you should have, along with trying to find the best deals that you can get. If they have it on Amazon, it's a good place to get it, and if you're a Prime member, you can get it in two days, which is great. You can also click on any of the affiliate links below in the description. I've got a lot of the just kind of random tools there, and I'm going to start doing some video-specific stuff on my Amazon store. So if you save that link, you can click right over to it, click on the project you like, and see the stuff that I purchased for those projects and the tools that I recommend you use. So that's it for me. Check out these projects.